Hi right, guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We've got Sam with us today. Hell yeah. We've got a seriously wet and windy day, but we're fed up of the weather. <laughs> so we're going out squid and cuttlefish fishing. We've got two crab pots with us today and the, the cuttlefish pot that I made in the live. So hopefully between this and the rods, we can get something, eh, mate? Fingers crossed, mate. So stay tuned. It's Smash Fishing. Woo! So there you go, guys. That's the crab pots all set up. You can see we've got three entrances in each of the crab pots, all baited up on three corners. And then we got the cuttlefish pot, cuttlefish 2000. You can see we've got spike entrances there. We made that in the lives in the last couple of days because it's been awful weather. And that's just made out of a gorilla bucket. And if I turn my torch off, you'll see we've got big green glow lights in there to try and attract them. And what we're going to do is we've got some uh, bags and stuff that we're going to fill with air and throw them in here. So it all, almost tricks the cuttlefish to believe that there's another cuttlefish inside and that will attract them in even more. So fingers crossed, we can catch something. We're probably going to catch a crab, but <laughs> you never know. On the rods, we're using our two, our two jig rig. We've got the dropper loop there to the bigger jig. And I'm going to put the little white one on. So we've got pink on the bottom, white on the top. And hopefully we'll find out what colours they will be interested in. We're happy with anything today, cuttlefish or squid. And uh, I'll have a cook up in the morning if we get something, because we're definitely not doing a catch a cook on the beach tonight, eh, mate? <laughs> definitely not. So we'll see you down there, guys, and we'll get these all set up and get them thrown out. Go on, Sam, big fry. <laughs> Hopefully there's some cuttlefish down there, eh? Hopefully. <laughs> Nothing like fishing on a nice sunny day, eh Sam? Oh, it's lovely out here. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful weather, guys. <laughs> 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 we got a 4-6 wind and rain. <laughs> and all we're doing is just a steady retrieve or sort of a, a sink and draw sort of retrieve. Pulling the rod up, just like so. There you go guys, that's another squid come up. Not a bad size one at all. Chap's been fishing a while for him. Bet you're glad you got it though, eh? Yeah, <laughs> that's a good sign, hopefully we can get some now. Squid on guys, I'm hoping it stays on. Come on, we fished in the bad weather for this. Yeah, boy! Woohoo! <laughs> there you go, guys. We finally got one, and that one was on the white jig. That was interesting because pink usually works. Oh, the pink's been working for the chap next to us. There you go, Mr. Squidwort. I'm gonna cook this bad boy in the morning. So there you go guys, lovely squid there. Nasty little tentacles and it's got its two shooting tentacles here. You can see they stretch out a long old way. And then they go straight into the big beak. And how we dispatch these, shown you guys before. You have to do it really quick, you can see it changing color. Look how cool that looks. It's like pulsating different colors. So how we dispatch them, quick to the chop and his head pops off. <laughs> That, that was a definitely a decent judo chop that one so this this squid definitely dispatched <laughs> usually if you do it a little bit less hard it'd be sound <laughs> look like the squid is showing up now guys sam's just had one follow him up and all we're doing how i caught that one was just a straight retrieve just really slow just trickling it through the water column and then wham they come out of nowhere the fight's really weird with squid it's not like a fish it more like pulsates your line down and all you've got to do is keep a really steady retrieve. And hopefully you can land them. Sometimes they do pop off, they're caught on a tentacle. But if you just drop your lure back down, sometimes they come and get it again. Mm -hmm. 
Another one on, guys. I'm hoping he stays on. Oh, that's a beast. Yeah? Oh, that's yeah. a better one, eh? Nice. Oh, my legs are like jelly. Check the size of that one, guys. That's a lovely size squid right there. What a beauty. Look at the marking on it. So let's try and dispatch this one a little bit easier. Just a quick chop and you can see all the colour goes and that's perfectly dispatched squid that. Be a few nerves and that's about it. On the white jig again Sam. Yeah, the white one. Might have to change yours to a white as well mate. Doing that now mate. That's a little Uzuri, uh, some sort of brand of Uzuri. Brilliant and these glow up as well. That's another squid for the cook up. What a beauty. Always fascinates me the eye of the squid. Look at the colours in there. That's mental. Inglorious fishing. Hell yeah, baby. Check that out for a jig. He's got a lighthouse jig. <laughs> it's a lighthouse jig. Hopefully it catches. Fingers crossed, mate. Ah, the lighthouse jig, baby. The lighthouse jig. <laughs> oh, look at that thing, guys. <laughs> Dan's hooked into the bottom. <laughs> gonna pull the crab pot now, guys. And then Sam's gonna pull his, and then we'll, we'll do the cuttlefish pot as well. Fingers crossed, in one of these, we've actually caught something. Two squid down. One lady crab. Oh. Not looking good so far. Got one little lady crab, vicious red eyes, definitely not big enough to eat, and that's a female. Tell that by the overall apron there. Go on then, little one. Alright, that wasn't good. Bait's been ripped out as well, look. So I reckon congas have been in them. Hopefully, in Sam's pot, we've caught it. It's about a big conga or something. <laughs> Anything will do. <laughs> Can't hear anything flapping. Not yet. Quite windy though, to be fair. It is, eh? Trying to hide out the wind's well hard. Oh, nothing. Bait, look. There's been congas. Congas have been slaying it. That's two of Sam's baits gone, and that one's been torn to pieces. You guys can see that. So that's another bait torn up. There's loads of congas in this area, so it's not surprising. Serious on the face. I'm curious more than ever. What's it in it? Can't see anything. One of the baits is gone. <laughs> Congas have been at it. Ugh. Yeah, nothing in that. So that's it for the crab pots, guys. As you can see, that's the cuttlefish pot. And eventually we will catch something in it. <laughs> There's a lot of congas around here at the moment, so it's not really surprising. But I'll try down the lighthouse next time and hopefully we can get something decent in it. But yeah, looks pretty beast, eh mate? Yeah, works mate. <laughs> So winning lure of the night was this little Yuzuri thing. Glows up in the dark as well, but it's tiny. That's the ones that we usually use. So there you go. The small white jig did the business tonight. Very interesting. So that's our catch of the day, guys. Someone uh, cleaned their squid off before and gave us a squid head. So, uh, happy days. 
And there's old headless Nick there where his head popped off. <laughs> so I'll see you in the kitchen tomorrow. And uh, we'll be cooking up that big squid. Fun little trip, eh, Sal? Yeah, definitely, mate. Yeah, it's a shame there weren't a few more, but hey, oh, we tried. Check this out, guys. I got a big squid on. This one's taking off drag. Set, follow it up, my boy. I am, I'm getting the big squid. Big squid. Yeah, I'm getting the big squid. I told you. Ah, oh, she's a beast. Are you going to try and pull it off? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to flip it. Watch out. Oh, yeah, boy! Oh. Woo! The size of that, baby! Now that's what you call a squid! Woohoo! Woo <laughs> On the white jig again! Look at the size of that! On the white jig again, bud! I'll give uh, down the camera and I'll give you a better show, guys. On the white jig as well. What a beast! There you go, guys. Check that out for a squid. That's every part of three pound, that one. That one was actually taken drag. That's a month. <laughs> I think that's more than three. I don't know. It's got to be close. Maybe a bit over. Maybe three, two or something like that. That's a there lovely squid though. That's the squid that we came for, baby. Nice to see the big ones are turning up. Hell yeah. Look at it. Yeah. How you dispatch them, guys? Quick quality chop right in the neck. Just like that. You see the change of colour? Maybe one more. There you go. Now she's gone. And that one's going straight in the freezer for some conga bait. <laughs> can see the beak inside there his nerves are still going and he's trying to bite something evil little creatures back in the kitchen now guys we've got one nice squid here we put the other ones in the freezer and they'll be good for conga bait so what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep the body of this squid I'm going to keep the head as bait and we're just going to clean it up and make some fresh battered squid rings Lovely job. So all I'm going to do is get the guts out, just like so, and then where the mantle is, if you dig your fingers in and just run it round, you can just slowly peel it all off. This has been in the fridge for two days now because I decided to go squid fishing and now we're back cooking. So all I'm doing is just pulling the skin off like so. It exposes all of the nice meat. Give it a good old scrub up. Getting all of the sinew off. And then you got the cartilage bone in the middle here. Looks just like a piece of plastic. <laughs> Look at that. Always amazes me that how much it feels and even looks like plastic. Uh, all I'm going to do now, turn the squid inside out. There we go. Keep on pushing it through. You can use a spoon or a uh, or a dull knife for this and just push it through, or even a chopstick. All I'm doing is folding it inside out so I can. Get to the inside and that's what you want there that's what you'll be taking off any discards get them out some beautiful squid come on up at the moment last night we obviously had the big squid so i thought i'd add it to this video so you guys can have a have a look at it the kraken squid that one so i'm just going to finish this off now then we'll start prepping it to cook so we've got our squid here i tore the squid a little bit there so and that's where I'll just cut that end off. And what I'm making is about 10 millimeter squid rings. Just like so. It's probably the easiest way to cook squid this. You don't want them too thick. You don't want them too thin either. Just like so. And right there, we've got some beautiful squid rings. Look at the size of them. Nice bit of meat on there. They're perfect size to make some tempura batter. Nice and crispy. Those are gonna be absolutely delicious. All we're doing now, we've got cornstarch, 
which we get three quarters of a cup of cornstarch. There we go, get that in there. Then we've got half a cup of flour. And this is just to make your batter mix. So then we get half a cup of flour in there. These are quite rough measurements, so a little bit back. We got a teaspoon of baking powder. Beautiful. That goes in there. Freshly ground black pepper. A bit of that in there. Then we got some sea salt. Beautiful. Give that a little mix round. Half a cup of water. Beautiful. Gonna give that a little whisk up now. And then we'll, like, we'll add our, our egg in. And we've got nice egg here. It should be slightly beaten, but hey ho. We're just gonna chuck it in the pan and hope for the best. <laughs> And you get all that mixed in and then that will be your batter ready to go. All we've got now is a nice bit of olive oil. We want a good old chug of it in here because we'll be shallow frying these. So just enough to cover about halfway of the squid ring. There we go. That's about right. We'll let that get up to the temperature and we'll get our squid rings in. What I'm going to do for now, just while my oil's getting to a nice temperature, I'm just going to split them all apart so I've got all my squid rings ready and just get them in the batter ready to go. Beautiful. And it's surprising you don't need a huge amount of squid for this for one person because uh, these are actually quite filling. Beautiful. You know when your pan's getting up to heat, all you've got to do is just dip your finger in the uh, into the batter, and once it starts sizzling like that, you know she's ready to cook. We've got our squid rings there. Let's get get a bit of excess off. Just give it a little swish around, and then lay it in the pan. And these are going to cook really quick. You'd never want to overcook squid. Get the rest of these in and show you the finished product. Got a good old lunch on the go today. Yum. As you can hear, really crispy this. And you can make it as thin or thick as you like. I like there to be a good amount of batter. And with this sort of batter, it goes really crunchy. So we've got some sweet chili sauce, some fresh lemon, and that is all you need with squid rings. It's just that. Hot. Wow. Mmm. That's cooked perfectly. You don't want to overcook this because it will turn like rubber. Same with any sort of cephalopod. Whether that be octopus, it be cuttlefish or squid, uh, they all will get chewy. 
Good luck. Mmm. I love the way that the tempura batter just sort of breaks off like that. You can see it, it splits when it's cooking. It looks amazing. And if you add a little bit more water, you can just get a fine coating of batter on if you wanted, and it's lovely that way as well. But this is my preferred way. Nice bit of batter on there. If a chippy sold this, they'd be in their element. Mmm. You can't beat that. That is amazing. I'll have to cook this for Sam sometime. Hopefully next time it's not raining so much. Mmm. <laughs> that little bit of lemon just complements the chilli sauce so much. You literally don't need anything else with this. A squid so soft. Mm. Right, I'm gonna leave it there guys. One more show at the squid rings up close. Absolutely delicious they are. If you want to check out the lads Instagram or Inglorious Fishing's YouTube channel, I'll leave the links in the description. If you like my channel, like and subscribe. Make sure to like the video. And if you want some merch, the link's in the description also. It's smash fishing, baby. Woo! Really enjoyed this cook. Yum!